Welcome to the Cardigan Empire channel and today we're going to have a little bit of mystery, a little bit of science, a lot of intrigue and we're going to save you some money and some t-shirts while we're at it. So first let me introduce the problem that we're having here in my household. I have been going through t-shirts and finding that all of them have these little tiny holes all across the front and I was trying to figure out what might be causing this. Was it moths? But why would moths always eat in the same location? And the same goes for my washing. Why would the washing machine or the laundry always cause them in the same areas? It seems like it would be a little bit more random. So I put together my own hypothesis and I started looking at the tops that I only wear or the knits that I only wear with skirts and the knits that I wear with denim. And so we looked at that variable and it turns out that the knits that I wear with my denim always get the holes and the knits that I wear with my skirts do not get the holes. Therefore, it is not rubbing up against countertops or, you know, sitting in a seatbelt necessarily except that those can accentuate kind of the friction that you're getting between your denim hardware or the rivets, um, the buttons, and your actual knits. So we identified the culprit and now we're going to talk about how we can prevent that in the future. Here's how we go about with our prevention. First, we're going to need to have our t-shirt and I recommend that you put it on and then you look at where you're going to be having wear along the denim hardware and mark it with a bit of masking tape or whatever you have on hand there so that we know that we have the correct lineup. Um, that where the shirt's going to lay, you're going to have um, it marked so that we know we're marking the right area. I've already done that on this one here. And so our next step that we are going to take is applying some fusible interfacing. Now, the reason that we're using the fusible interfacing is that we want to make sure we have a protective layer between the denim hardware and your t-shirt because it doesn't matter how expensive the t-shirt is, it really just depends on how thin the knit is. And sometimes your more expensive t-shirts have the thinnest knits. So, now what we need to do is we need to take our t-shirt and apply the fusible interfacing to it. And you'll notice I chose the lightest weight fusible interfacing that they have available so that it won't show through on your thinner knit t-shirts. And we're going to go ahead and look for the marking we made on this one. And we're going to cut a small square of the fusible interfacing. You don't need a big amount because as you'll notice on most of the shirts, they're concentrated into a small area. Look at your own shirts and your own wear and make sure that, you know, it just lines up with what you've been experiencing. So I have my iron set to a medium heat. I place the rough side of the fusible interfacing against the wrong side of the fabric. And we're gonna just take that warm iron and we're going to adhere the interfacing to the inside of the shirt. And that will, once again, it'll just create that barrier between your denim hardware and the actual t-shirt. So whether you're running up against a countertop while you're cooking or a seatbelt while you're driving or your desk at work, you're gonna have that extra layer of protection so that it'll wear against the fusible interfacing rather than against the front of your shirt. And thereby preventing all those little tiny holes. And as you can see, it doesn't show through on the fabric at all. It's gonna be invisible to the you know, casual viewer. And now you can prevent all those little holes that we've been experiencing in our t-shirts and thereby save yourself a little money and save yourself a little bit of frustration. Now I appreciate you joining us on the Cardigan Empire channel today for the case of the tiny holes in the t-shirts. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, definitely let me know in the comments. There's other mysteries I'd be happy to solve with you as well. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week.